Someone's emailed us asking which country's shape is most like a square. What a stupid question. Totally pointless. Slovakia? No. Georgia? No. Bangladesh? No, Bangladesh looks like a wizard. You think everything looks like a wizard? Mm. Ghana? Too long. North Macedonia? Too round. Liberia? No. Malaysia? Say, Malaysia is not a square. But there must be one somewhere. Not in Oman or the UAE. And Yemen's more a rectangle. Yes, I can see. Russia's nothing like a square. Too long, as far as I'm aware. Mali starts off strongly, but right here it goes to put. Burkina Faso is irregular. Four-sided, it is not. Hmm, Italy's a boot. And so is Papua New Guinea. What about Benin and Togo? No, they're both far too skinny. What about these little countries? Costa Rica, Lebanon? There's no square in Singapore, Brunei, Mauritius or Gabon. <laughs> Kuwait looks like a little thumb. Madagascar looks quite lean. Burundi looks quite like a heart. Qatar looks like a bean. India's a diamond and Slovenia's a splot Cuba's very long and thin and both careers are short and squat Mozambique has got too many sides, Uzbekistan as well Little Paraguay's no paradigm, Mauritania's an L And Malawi's like a seahorse, Guinea-Bissau's a weathered rock And Nauru's nearly a circle and Somalia's a sock France is famously a hexagon, that fact is quite well known But it's not the only one, it's joined by Sierra Leone What about these landlocked countries like Nepal or South Sudan? They're not square and nor are Denmark, Finland, China or Iran Luxembourgers are all squares, which their borders don't reflect and Australia's a cat dog and Japan we must reject Guatemala has two squarish sides in this bit in the north But it won't meet our criteria cause it needs a third and fourth Timor Leste Doesn't pass the test Moldova, Guinea Don't be silly Little Rwanda Doesn't stand a hope in hell Nor does Israel Are we seriously going to go through every country? Yes, I think it's important Both the USA and Canada have squares in large amounts But we're only counting countries and states don't count Poland would look like a square if it invaded to the south Kazakhstan looks like a turtle with a leaf stuck in its mouth Despite a square's efficiency, the Germans don't come close And Peru is like a resting dog, Guyana's like a ghost Ethiopia and Switzerland look like potato wedges Norway, Sweden and New Zealand all have far too crinkly edges if you have a lot of coastline, then your sides will not be straight. So the squareness of the Philippines, Greece and Ireland would be great. Tajikistan's quite funky, as is elephant head-shaped Thailand. There's no square in Indonesia's 18,000 tiny islands. If your country's made of islands, then a square you'll never be. There are loads of island nations that are mostly MTC. <sighs> Trinidad, Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Solomon Islands, the Seychelles, the Maldives, Micronesia, Fiji, the Marshall Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis, Sao Tome and Principe, the Bahamas, Cape Verde, Tonga, Vanuatu. The Netherlands is flat, although its edges do not fit. And the following are countries with a sticky outy bit. There's Afghanistan, Namibia, the DRC's got two. There's Ukraine, Venezuela, Eritrea, Cyprus and Kosovo. Is Morocco square? No, it's more a stare. Kiribati? Not square, alas. Senegal? Not square at all. San Marino? San Marino. The CAR so near so far, Botswana's like a flounder. Chad looks like Jay Leno, Eswatini couldn't be rounder. Mongolia looks like a bat, the Congo's kind of foxy. Myanmar's like a genie and not even slightly boxy. Belize has one edge here that's straight, but this bit's rather lumpy. Adieu and can it a pentagon's Honduras is too bumpy Sri Lanka's like a raindrop Kyrgyzstan's a bird in flight Rale Rock and Jordan's lines are straight the angles just aren't right Colombia's kind of squarish though its borders are quite rough and Iberia would pass but Spain alone's not square enough If Bolivia expanded then a square it just might be Nicaragua would look square if you viewed it in 3D Little Liechtenstein and the Argentines are not square in the least The Dominican Republic that just tapers to the east The Soto sort of squarish but the angles on the wonk Cameroon is like a chicken with a huge badonka donk Mexico? No, 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 no. Portugal? Too thin, too tall. The Saudis? Too much on a slant. The Vatican? The Vatican. Listing every country by its shape is not an easy job, when inevitably loads of them look only like a blob. So to make things more efficient, as I'm sure you've got the gist, here are all the blobby countries in a quick compiled list. <laughs> Andorra, Antigua and Barbuda, Austria, Barbados, Belgium, Belarus, Bataan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Cambodia, Czechia, Djibouti, Dominica, Estonia, Grenada, Hungary, Iceland, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Serbia, St. Lucia, Tanzania, Uruguay, Zimbabwe. Sama's like a butterfly whose wings have been removed But at Ecuador and Bahrain and it's massively improved Little Monaco's so tiny you can see the piers within Chile's very, 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 very long and thin Uganda cannot be a square because of all the legs The Gambia, Vietnam and Panama all look like snakes Haiti, Croatia and Zambia all have shapes that wrap around Syria's just a bit too slopey and El Salvador's too long That doesn't rhyme Palau looks like a jellyfish, Pakistan looks like a duck Azerbaijan looks like a bird that's been run over by a truck This monkey is Armenian This shooting star's Laotian Jamaica, Malta and Niger are creatures from the ocean Greenland's not a real country even though it's really big The UK looks like an old witch sitting sideways on a pig Comoros would if it were glued Some parts of Tuvalu look rude Turkmenistan looks like something or another Tunisia and Albania look like each other South Africa's too wobbly Bulgaria's too knobbly Brazil is too triangular Turkey is too rectangular 
Now the only countries left are ones whose squareness are the best. If you know which ones are coming, we're incredibly impressed. Little Montenegro Square, if you rotate it some degrees. South Sudan has left behind a very square North Sudanese. The angles in Angola mean it's nearly good to go. And Nigeria comes close, although it bulges down below. Libya is nearly square, it's more a parallelogram. And Cote d'Ivoire and Suriname do well in our exam. Equatorial Guinea's very square, but unfortunately, since its capital's on an island, then the squarest it can't be. So, so the winner of our contest, fitting all our tight prescriptions, it's the squarest of the squarest, the nation of the pharaohs, the land of Cleopatra, the country where the sphinx is, it's, it's the, the land, land of the Egyptians. <sighs> Any more interesting emails come in? There's one asking for every capital city in the world. Oh, well, that would have made a much better song. Program, Professor John Whitstable joins us to discuss the life and work of Noel Edmonds. Finally, a topic I'm really interested in. Professor, good morning. Good morning. I'd like to start with Noel's first television appearance on Swap Shop in 1976. What? No, it wasn't. It was Top of the Pops in 1972. Swap Shop was, of course, one of Edmonds' most influential works. Excuse me? Are you listening? I said it was Top of the Pops. And was this the show that made Edmonds a household name on ITV? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Noel Edmonds never had a show on ITV. Please correct your mistake and apologise. Of course, Noel Edmonds went on to play Captain America in the Marvel movies. Now, this is a fact... Hello? You're talking rubbish! Can anyone hear me? That's fascinating, Professor, and I wonder if... Hello? Oh, hello there. I'm just calling to find out if you're happy with your current audio listening platform. Well, actually, I'm not. I've been talking to my radio and it's been completely ignoring me. Would you like to hear about a new app called Stereo that lets you join in the discussion? Well, yes, I would. So Stereo is a completely free app that you can download onto your phone and you can listen to live conversations happening between people from across the world and you can actually leave your own comments for them to listen to and play out. That sounds great. Can I broadcast my own conversations too? So you can actually broadcast your own conversations as well, either by scheduling a chat with a friend or the app will randomly place you with another Stereo user and you can just start chatting and broadcasting immediately. So it's a great way to meet new people. So to get started, all you do is download the Stereo app and create your own avatar, and you can accessorise that too if you like. Can I have a halo and a monocle? Yeah, absolutely. You can have a halo and a monocle. Just put that through for you now. So any shows you'd recommend? So we're currently recommending a show called Map Men Get Lost. That will be on at 6.30pm today. That's 12th of April 2021. It's a great opportunity to ask the Map Men any questions you might have. So if you'd just like to click on the link in the description below, that'll take you straight through to the show. OK? OK. OK. Anything else I can help you with today? No, thanks. I'll download Stereo immediately. Bye. Now, how do I find the App Store? It's on your phone, stupid. If you could plonk the other one down anywhere in the world and they would have to find out where they are, Jay, where would you put Mark? And Mark, where would you put Jay? What I would do is find um, a field where you are convinced that you're really far away, but it's as close as possible to your house. Yeah. I would like to place you in the Darien Gap. Uh, between Panama and Colombia that connects Central America and South America to so thick jungle and marshland and swamp and really inhospitable. I just want to see if you'd survive. I'm just <laughs> what interested. What a cruel thing to do.